Hello, my name is Chris Hammond, and I'm the director of training here with .NET New Corporation. In this brief video, we're going to talk to you about how you can customize the user accounts page in .NET Nuke. Now, the user accounts page is going to allow you to see a listing of the users on your website. And what many people don't know is that they can actually change the way that page looks. You can configure the columns that show up on that page. You can also increase or decrease the paging size. So by default, it's going to show you 10 users per per page. And if you have a thousand users, that would mean you have a large number of pages available. So we're going to show you how you can increase that. Uh, in most websites, I would actually increase that to about a hundred per page. You might increase it to somewhere uh, more or less than that. It really is up to you. So in order to configure that page, we're going to need to go into our .NET Nuke website. And we're here in our .NET Nuke website. We're currently logged in as an administrator within DNN. Now the user accounts page is by default only visible to administrators. So I'm going to go to that user accounts page found under the admin menu. And here we'll see a listing of the users that are currently registered on our website. Now on this particular sample website we only have three users so we're not going to be able to show you a list of 100. But let's talk about what we see on the page here by default. When you go to the page you're going to see a listing of three users. And you can see it's showing you all users for that particular site. Well, what ultimately it does by default is the same thing as if you go to the user accounts page and click on the all option. It's going to show you all users. Across the top of that page, you can choose to filter users by the first letter of their username. So if I click on A, it's going to show me all users that start with the username of A. And then if we click on the T, we'll see the two test users that we have created because they start with the letter T. And if we go back to the all option, we will then see all of the users. Now, remember this, this list is paged. Now, in order to control the paging and to control some of the options, we're need, gonna need to get into the user settings. So you can see here in the list right now, it shows us the edit pencil, the delete option, and the manage roles icon. And then we see the list of usernames, their display name, their address, telephone number, when they were created, and if they're authorized or not. We can manage those columns. So we're going to go into the user settings. Now to get to the user settings from the user accounts module, we need to go to the actions menu and choose the user settings option. Now the first section of the user settings is going to provide you information about the membership provider within .NET Nuke. Now this information is all defined in the web.config file, so we can't actually customize it from this screen. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize it for now. The same thing goes for the second section, the password aging. If you want to have passwords expire on a set time frame, you can configure that, but you have to configure that through the web.config file. Then we get to the user account settings control. Now in the user account settings, you can see the first nine or so options are columns. And these are the columns that show up on the user accounts page. So you can see there are five that are configured by default address, authorized, created date, name, and then telephone. You can see they're all set to true. Well, there's some additional ones, email, first name, last login, and last name that are set to false. We can control from these options which columns we want to display on the user accounts page. So perhaps we want to hide the address and hide the telephone number, but we do want to show the email address and the last time that user logged into the website. So we can change those options with the radio buttons. Now after that we have an option here for the default display mode. And as, we, as I said, when we went to the user accounts page, it showed us all users by default. That's because the all option is selected here. You can have it show us users that start with the first letter of the alphabet, or you can have it set to show no users, and then you have to click on one of those links across the top of the user accounts page in order to get them to display. In most cases, I'll leave it set to all. Now the next option here allows you to turn off paging within the user accounts module. So if you want to display all users all the time without any paging, you would set this to true. Now in most cases you're going to leave this set to false. A couple of settings down though, you're going to find a users per page option. This allows you to come in and control how many users will show up on your user accounts page at a time. So you can set this from 10 by default to a larger number or even a smaller number. Because we only have three accounts, I'm going to go ahead and set it to one for now. So we'll show one user per page. Not something that's really usable, but it will demonstrate the paging functionality. Now, back up a couple settings. We have an option here to 
set the default profile visibility mode. That's an option that controls the user profile visibility. You can see that uh, in one of our previous .NET Nuke user videos where we talk about the user profile uh, from an admin and a user account perspective. We also can turn off the user profile visibility uh, by choosing true or false there. And then the option here to manage services or display managed services, that allows you to be able to allow your users to manage their services. And managing services allows them to add or remove themselves to public roles within .NET Nuke. After that, we get into a couple options for redirect. If you would like to redirect users to a specific page after they log in, you can choose that page from the drop-down list. If you'd like to redirect them out to a specific page after they log out, you can choose that page from the, the drop-down list. And the same thing for registration. Now you can also enable CAPTCHA. It's basically those images that you see that have text in them and it, it prompts users to try to figure out what the text is in the image. You can enable that for logins and for the registration process. And it's oftentimes enabled to kind of eliminate spam accounts and registrations and logins from occurring on a website. After that, we can customize the display name format. If you go to the help text for that particular option, you can see that there's some sample tokens you can utilize. By default, .NET will allow the user to choose and customize their own display name. If you'd like to hard code that, you can use some tokens to do so. After that, we have an email address validation regular expression. This allows you to go through and customize requirements for the email address when someone registers on your website. If you wanted to limit users of a specific domain to be able to create accounts on your website, you could do so by modifying this regular expression. After that, we have an option here to require a valid profile for registration or require a valid pro profile for login. We talked about that in a previous video about user profiles for the administrator. And then we have an option here on how to show users on the manage roles page. Now, by default, it's going to show you a combo box which will list off all of the users on your .NET Nuke website. But if you have hundreds or thousands of users, that might not be feasible. You can choose a text box here. We'll see examples of that in a future video. For now, I'm going to go ahead and click on update and save the changes. Primarily, we change the columns and we change the number of users per page. So we can see now that when we go back to the user accounts page, we have one user listed here. And we're currently on page one of three. Showing us our username, display name, email address, when that user was created, when they last logged in, and if they're authorized or not. And we can navigate through the pages of users using the paging options down below. If you're interested in more .NET Nuke training, I'd encourage you to check out our .NET Nuke training page underneath the resources tab on .NET Nuke.com. There you'll find a variety of free videos as well as information about our instructor-led training webinars and our custom on-site and online training offerings. Again, this is Chris Hammond with .NET Nuke Corporation. Thanks for watching the video.